Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Just going over the news today. Wall Street Journal, FT. Front page is obviously the uh, NAFTA rewrite. Good for Trumpy. Um, but I did have an idea, and I don't really know the answer. Maybe you guys can help. Is there any way to short the Catholic Church? Gee we Gotta figure out how to short that shit. Anyway, uh, let's talk FX. Uh, as we were talking yesterday, trying to sell high ones here in Euro and Aussie, uh, or short Euro. Uh, we just have to leave a stop above yesterday's high, uh, 117.02. See how that goes. Same Aussie. Uh, we got paid on the first of our shorts at 52 yesterday. The high was 55. Um, Aussie's behaving better than Euro is. So we've got these two short positions. Don't have super confidence in the Euro. Um, and so we're going to use this as what you would call a tradable short. Try and get the average aggressively better. Uh, even though it reduces upside uh, potential, we'll see what happens uh, here in Euro. Aussie we like, uh, looks pretty steady. Has real trouble getting to the high 73 handle, so we'll stick with that for now. Elsewhere, uh, Euro Yen printed above 130, 130.04. Looking for a red bar in Euro Yen today. One, two, three, four, five, six greens. Um, this looks like an apt place for some kind of turn. We've inched above 130. People have, in general, been bearish the last two trading days, and it's gone straight up. Usually this is a sign that left-hand side is probably the way, but the early birds uh, didn't get the worm. So, no dog in this fight, but this looks like it might turn this year end today. Equities, playing silly buggers, 2903.75. I like them apples. No idea why why we're here and what's going on. And if one more one more person tells me it's the economy, stupid. Maybe I'll just uh, believe them that it's the economy, stupid. Anyway, no dog in this fight. We are going to uh, just wait and watch in awe as this thing continues to climb. We will be looking at shorts again uh, back through 70, 28, 70 if we get back down there ever in the history of the universe. What else is out there? Euro Sterling on its way. Oddly, 90.30 paid. Uh, we actually did not trade it Friday when Powell was speaking. It broke 38, back down to 28. Uh, and now has never been below 30 cents. Regret not trading that one. My eyes were on Euro dollar, uh, which was a mess. Whereas sneaky little Euro sterling was clean. We're getting a bit stretched now, though. Um, made a new high today. Right around 90.70. We have to go back to the weeklies now and see where where we are on this whole thing. We don't really have support uh, resistance till 91.50, and then we have this high from last year, which has got to be close to the all-time high, um, 93.10. This looks pretty solid, I have to say. Uh, we don't have anything in it. We're not going to buy dips today just because of the amount of green days here and we're short Euro dollar and Euro yen looks like it wants to turn. Um, but cheapies down in front of 90.20, probably the way in this. 
Aussie uh, yen, we're running into this resistance here, this overhang we can't seem to get through. 81.80. This looks like a trap. Um, 81.75. We've had some highs here, and some break traders will be thinking this is a nice way to express risk on. But it looks like a trap to me. Um, you know, I think that the risk on pivot is going to be 82.06. And so, just wait for that. This looks like a sell. Selling high ones, this looks like the way in Aussie yen. Um, Aussie dollar is just not really too strong politically. It's a mess down there. Uh, I can't see that uh, straightening, straightening itself out anytime soon. Kiwi. Everyone's talking about 67.23, so this will be important. Um, but it's stalling out, top of the range, stalling out kind of what we expected. Aussie stalling out, top of the range. Euro dollar making these new range highs. We're looking for a top to be put in there. Uh, Euro yen looks a little stretched. Uh, all of these sort of risk on proxies are looking a little bit stretched. This will be a break trade. 67.23. Put it in the book. If we do get continued risk on, or if we do get positive news in New Zealand, uh, shorts will be covering between 23 and sort of 33, and then again through 60. So we'll patiently wait for that print and see how we do. Dollar Rand. Annoying. Didn't get to 45 yesterday, so now we're in sit and wait mode. This looks like it's going to spook some people this way, downside, into this nebulous 1410, 13, uh, 1410, 1400 region. We talked about it yesterday. It could easily move down to. 13, 85, 80, 75. The real support is here. We'll call it 1365. We're just going to wait. Uh, we'll wait and see. Dollar Turkey is 617, sort of up 3% from the opening of the week. So we still want to try and fade these, these moves in dollars are. Um, she's proving difficult, but the macro and the political picture looks weak, and as we talked about yesterday, we do believe the storm is coming for emerging. Now, the storm is already here, we believe, that put that more succinctly, and we're just waiting for the second and third innings to get started, and that may, that may be next Tuesday, right? After Labor Day in New York, uh, when everyone's back fully in their seats and there's full liquidity. Uh, or it could be tail end of this week. It's a very key period here. Uh, the early bird guys may try and jump on something towards the end of this week, sort of front running. Basically the Tuesday, Wednesday trades they're going to get put on in New York. Um, and then the more conservative late guys, which probably me, will just wait for price to um, confirm the direction of the big bet that's going to be put on this fall. All right, I've said enough. Uh, just working on this uh, core short Aussie, core short Euro. No break trades in sight for now. Um, we have that Kiwi level above, but not really in play and then we're watching this um, watching this dollar rand looking for ways to short Z A R good luck out, good luck out there people talk to you later ciao